this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play Wii backups from USB or SD card. So first of all, if you don't have it already, get the Homeboot browser. We'll make a tutorial for that soon. And you must have the Homeboot channel installed. So once you do those two, you can watch the Homeboot channel. I'll leave a tutorial for hacking the Wii or the Wii for in the description, I think. Basically, so now what you want to do is go to the homebrew browser. And click on load. You will now say this, and it should just do this. Should just do this. It should start downloading a zip file. Just let it do its. Just let it do its thing. Now it's extracting images, and we should be done. Move the fit with the initial um, set up the home group browser right there. It just is extracting your image files, and this also works on Vue, not just the Wii. If you get the screen, that's normal. Like that weird staticky screen. That's completely normal. You would just show the Google browser. Now go to utilities. Make sure you have enough megabytes free. Wait, what? That's... Wait, what? <laughs> 3.5 terabytes on an SD card? Hold on. What? Okay, okay, anyways, let's just ignore that bat. Just ignore that. Now, you want to scroll down until you see USB Loader GX. Click on that, and now click install to download and extract it to do your SD card. You must have an SD card for this, by the way. Or a USB drive. I already have it installed, so now. We're also going to download WeFlow WFL. I already have that. That allows you to play backup we backup some an SD card. Or USB drive. This is for SD. And this is for USB only. And WeFlow is for SD and uh, USB. So now that you got did that, go to press the home button on your Wii remote and click on return the loader. Not reboot Wii! God, duh! Not reboot Wii, that was the wrong button. Don't mind me, now I have to relaunch the Humble channel. Just press return the loader to go back to the Humble channel. Right now, USB Loader GX and Wii Flow should appear in your in Humble, the Humble channel. Now, USB Loader GX is for USB only. Which was for USB and SD card. So if you want to load games from a USB drive, I don't have a USB drive, but this is literally for demonstration. You have to wait on the screen. But I'm not gonna wait because I'm gonna skip because I don't have a USB thing. And as you can see, we're now in the UI. Now I have it set to um oh my god, that's building channels. I have it set to channels only, but if you want to go to like your games, A, 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 what? What is going on with you? Okay, nothing's wrong with you. You sh okay, click on like, uh, this is basic, this one right here, the Wii remote is like shaking. This one shows you your games like this, unless this one shows your games like this. So now I will show you how to use WeFlow. So one, press the home button and click on home channel. Now you just have to load it. Now it just has to load. Make sure you have them in the correct folder. I mine are in WBFF. In USB Loader GX, you just have to create like a folder on the USB drive. USB, yeah, 
W? I don't even know. Go to WeFlow for SD cards. So click on load. Uh, it, it will go to like a screen that looks like this. You just have to wait a little. Also, my camera is not focusing. You just have to wait a little for it to actually load. I have some weak backup, so yeah. So I get like a loading screen that looks like this, and then this screen right here is basically similar to the USB loader jet. But, like this. So now you want to access your games. So go down here and press on the games icon. Make sure your games are in WBFS format, I think. That's like the only one that's in read. So the, you make a photo and you have to call dot W, called um, WBFS, and I put all of your WP, dot WBFS files in there. So now, click on the little controller icon that looks like an SNES controller. Click on that, or is that a, no, that's an asset, yes. Click on that. Not the CD! <laughs> Not the CD drive! It just spit out my Nintendo Land disc. Alright, anyways, let's go back. What just happened? Oh, oh my god. You serious? That brings me back to the... Okay, you know what? I will just be back when I launch it. Oh. Alright, we're loading back into it. It does take a little bit to put it in all the games. I have... Also, you must have a decent, a decent amount, of, amount of space on your SD card to store those WBFS files. Watch the flow is used for USB and SD card. Is this? No, no, it doesn't play like any audio. So now, go press the game controller icon with the SNES controller. No plugins. Blood. Oh, okay, press the USB, uh, press, um, the, uh, fifth option. And, uh, the fifth option in this bottom bar right here, so... This is the fifth option until you see the GameCube logo. Just stop there. Just stop there. And then these are all of your games. They will work. So we could just launch music. I also could show you the banner. Well, of course. I can also show you the banner, which I don't. You can also actually click on this to see. It looks like I don't know how to get out of it now. So click on play on the game that you selected. I don't know if this will work with GameCube. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, an exception DSI. Of course, I would get that. Well, now I have to turn off the console. <laughs> In fact, I can't. Cool, what a great console. You might see my desktop. And now we lost connection. And it went back to my computer. What a great system. I don't know why it froze. It's not supposed to do that. Is it because I'm on a Wii U? And there goes a black screen of death. And now it's auto booting. Shut up, right side. Notification on YouTube. We just have to relaunch really Stupid technical difficulties. Okay, what we're gonna do is launch Wii again. If the sensor bar wants to work. No, well, I would just skip to when I actually have it opened again. Alright, we're back. Something I forgot to mention, that, which is probably why we got the DSi exception error, is that I deleted this, because I'm never going to get a play it. So, first of all, I forgot to mention this. Go to Settings. Uh, 
You click on the. Where the heck is it? Okay, how do we? Oh God, I am. Okay, hold on, hold on. So press the home button on your Wii remote. So and you should get this. Now click on reload case right here. Now start to do stuff. Now you should see all of your games. <coughs> Sorry. Now we can play a game. There's a banner. Just click on play. You should see this like loading bar, and there it is. There's a game. What's a resource for? It should work perfectly fine without any issues. That's the thing. Ah, get out of here. I don't care. That's this thing. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. I don't- oh, Stop it! Oh, what? Okay, th there we go. I hate everything in this game. Doing the puke on this game. Let's try again. I don't even know if this little note is missing. Oh! What are we doing? Something I didn't ask for. <laughs> okay, it shows. Where I'm going to get, which is totally where I am. Hey, okay, we're just gonna go down, guys. You're just gonna uh, fall. Anyways, let's get out of this. It already works. Now, any issues. And if you click on the menu, you're going to be putting your back here. And you have, if you want to watch another game, do the same process. And now, 